Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So I already did record this video, but for some reason the file got corrupted, which has never ever happened to me. So obviously that reading was not meant to get out there. So let's get started with your reading. Let's start again. So if you'd like to choose which group your spirit animal is, then this is what this reading is about. So please choose group number one, two, three, or four. There is more than one spirit animal in each as well. So you can choose um, a number as well so I may do specific numbers too so please choose group number one two three or four and let's see what your spirit animal is so let's get started hello group number one as you can see I arranged the cards a little bit different so you guys can choose which animal you would like from group number one or you can choose all of them so let's get started with the first animal we have coyote spirit trust in divine detours fox spirit think on your feet Groundhog Spirit, time to let go. As you can see, all these cards are really, really fiery. So if you are a fire sign, this would be extra clarification. If you're not, obviously it doesn't mean that, but that's just an extra message for you guys. So the reason why you may have chosen this group is because either that one of these animals is your favorite animal, or they're actually your spirit animal, or they could mean a certain path in your life right now to help you through something, okay? So we have Coyote Spirit, Trust in Divine Detours. And let's see what card we have for that. We have the Three of Wands and then Fox Spirit. We have the Magician in the reverse and the Four of... These are all in reverse, that's so strange. Hmm, just thinking if that's actually right. Hmm. Okay, let's just roll with it. So I'm gonna go with these being in the reverse because I just feel like I need to. So if you chose a, either one of these cards, or you could choose all three of these, by the way, guys. It doesn't have to be just one specific animal. Um, I feel like for you guys who have chosen a coyote spirit, that you guys are really kind of in a confusing state at the moment. You're like, where am I going? I don't know what to do. I don't know if you can see, but my hand is shaking slightly, like this hand where I'm holding the card. So I feel like you guys are just a little bit nervous of where you're going to go. And if you see a coyote or this sort of animal that looks possibly like this, or a fox, or a wolf... Any kind of animal that looks like this, I feel like this is a sign that you are on the right track. You just need to kind of wait this out. And I feel like it's very similar to this energy where it's basically like you need to let go of whatever this detour is, okay? And with Think On Your Feet, all these are very connected. It's almost like you need to think on your feet when it comes to this detour. It's almost like something's changed and now you have to think about where you're going to go with it. And maybe let go of any kind of outcome. I know that's really hard to just say and not actually do. Um, but basically, the end of a tough cycle approaches, so whatever this detour is, it's coming for your highest good, and it may not feel like it, but it has. The fact we've got the magician in the reverse is basically like you have all the tools, you may just mean, you may not be utilising them yet. So you may be kind of like putting yourself down and thinking, oh I can't do this, I feel really insecure, my confidence is really low, but actually you have all these like utensils should we call them you have all these things that you could use to kind of go forward so you do have what it, it takes and possibly if you guys pick the fox spirit especially you guys are very good at thinking on your feet maybe you're just having a little bit of a down week or a down month or a down day and you may just be thinking oh, i can't really do this but you actually can guys and this one i feel like it's more to do with love uh, i feel like these two are more this is more like lifestyle kind of life in general this is more to do with love and matters of the heart so we have the four of wands. The fact that it's in reverse is quite a good thing actually, I feel like. I feel like it's got two meanings to it. I feel like one meaning is that for some of you, let's have a look. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you are actually letting go. But for some of you, you're very kind of like worried about what's gonna happen. And therefore you're, these swords are kind of pointing right at this person's face. So it's almost like you're just worried constantly about what's going to happen. Whereas actually you just need to let go and let it be. Okay. Because I feel like with the four of wands, if it's upright, I feel like this person is chilled. They're relaxed. They're kind of like, oh, I don't really care. You know, I'm chilled just sitting here, lying here, you know. But if it's actually in reverse, it basically means that you are kind of confused about what's going on. And you don't know how to react to the situation. So that's the advice for you guys. I hope hopefully this resonated with you. If it didn't resonate, then choose another group. And thank you so much for watching. If you would like a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, the red button is down below. Please like and comment if it resonated with you. And say if it didn't resonate, then just let it fly or choose another group. So thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. 
Hello group number two, thank you so much for being here. So as you can see, I already laid out the cards. So um, basically, if you want to choose a specific um, animal, you can. We have animal one and animal two here. If you want to be more specific, you can obviously choose both. If you've just chosen group number two, that's completely fine. But this, is, this can be more of a very specific message if you prefer. So let's get started with this card. We have wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. And then we also have elephant spirit, learn from the past, wow. These two are so similar, oh my god. It's so funny because group two, sorry, group one had all similar coloured cards as well. This is literally the exact same colour. Obviously, maybe minus a little bit of the red, but holy crap. Wow, okay. So, let's have a look and see what these, whoa. <laughs> a new romantic cycle begins and your hard work is paying off. Wow, this is gorgeous. Hanged man, it's all in reverse. Let me put these up right. Hanged man, seven of wands. Page of Swords, the Empress. Wow, this is gorgeous, guys. Okay, so possibly you chose group number two because the wasp or the elephant is your favourite animal. Uh, if not, this could just be a generalised um, reading as to say, kind of give you advice on where you're at at the moment. These animals have possibly come up as well for a part of your life that you need guidance. So, in terms of the wasp spirit, both of these I feel like are connected to each other. So, as a reading as a whole, this I feel like this will make sense anyway. If you chose the wasp spirit in particular, I feel like you guys have gone through a lot of crap and you've learned to kind of like pick yourself up um, and to work hard on yourself and to learn from the past and to know, I say literally learn from the past, as I said I knew this reading was connect, learn from the past and to know that you are like a golden gem, like it sounds really like cheesy <laughs> but basically you have this empress energy inside of you you have all the tools and you're fully equipped and i feel like because you're relying on yourself now you're a new a basically a new cycle is beginning it's almost like a butterfly as well so i feel like if you've chosen the wasp i feel like it's almost like you're going to go from a wasp to a butterfly and a new romantic cycle is beginning so if you guys have picked the wasp spirit you guys have a new romance coming if you chose the elephant spirit obviously same thing applies as to this reading as a whole if you just want to choose just this card, it means that your hard work is paying off because you're learning from the past. The more you learn from the past, the more you're going to be kind of moving through. So let go of the past, let it go and stop hanging in there and waiting for basically it all to move through. You need to kind of put in the effort to let it all go and stop basically, um, there may be like a new person coming in who really sparks your interest, who has a really brilliant mind. Um, so basically don't fight this person off because they could be really really like a really good potential for you So as I say this really connects as a whole I feel like as in terms of love or in terms of just generally if you're not looking for love But a love could mean like a new friendship by the way guys um, But if you aren't looking for love or just generally as a reading as a whole I feel like this is basically saying that life has been pretty hard for you guys But it's going to improve okay and just don't fight off the past just keep hanging in there You can, you can do it guys you can do it okay so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this resonated with you. If it did resonate, then please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if it did. If it didn't, then just let it fly or choose another group. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, the red button is down below. I'd really, really, really appreciate it. And if you would like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. I have all my readings listed and you can email me or you can message me on Instagram. So thank you so much for being here and for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Love you guys. Bye. Hi group number three, thank you so much for being here. As you can see, I've already laid out the cards. So I basically haven't turned them over yet just so you guys can choose a specific card for you. These are the animal cards here. So if you'd like to choose either one of these or you can choose both, it's completely up to you. So let's get started. We've got the brown bear spirit time, take time out. And the scarab beetle spirit magic works through you. I swear this card was gonna come out. Um, okay, and we've also got the world. A time to give rather than take. A win-win outcome is forecast. It's time to take action. Strength. Right, so for you guys, if you chose the bear spirit or the scarab beetle spirit, this could mean that this animal is your favourite animal. Or it could mean that this animal has a special message for you, okay? So the return to the brown bear spirit, obviously, as I say, this reading can be as a whole, not just for one animal. But looking specifically at the brown bear spirit, I always see the spirit as kind of like Brother Bear. I don't know if you've seen that film, Brother Bear, um, it's a Disney film. But I'm really kind of connected to this, like, um, claw on the bear. It kind of looks like where it's 
it's almost like the, the bear's put his paw to his heart. So I feel like you guys need to be really kind to yourself and to know that you're going through quite a big transformation. Things are changing for you and you are on a new path. You're on a new like life, almost you're coming into a new life. And it's time to give to yourself rather than let people take it from you and be confident in that, okay? Be confident. I feel like that green is quite similar to this green here. And we also have a win-win outcome as forecast. That's just generally as the overall reading. I feel like for a women outcome, a women, a win-win outcome as forecast. I feel like that's generally for you guys who've chosen this group. You are going to have a win-win outcome, but I definitely feel like you may be feeling a little bit kind of drained or um, I'm getting you relaxed. So possibly you guys need to relax, or you're a bit too relaxed and you need to get started on something and take action. Um, possibly for you guys who've chosen the scarab beetle specifically I feel like you guys need to take more action on something I feel like in terms of your worth I feel like you know you're worth it but I feel like there possibly could be a little bit of laziness which I'm sorry but that's kind of what's coming through this could also mean that somebody's coming forward for you because this can actually mean a new partner or a new man or woman obviously depending on who you're um you're interested in there's a new person coming forward who's going to take action on you or you're going to take action towards them because I feel like this these colors are very similar so there's definitely a connection here but there's almost like you need to take the action required because you have basically a lot of tools here for you and magic works through you so it's almost like you're not really lacking even though you feel like you may be lacking which is funny because we've also got two fire signs here we've got Aries and we've got Leo so you may feel like you need to have the strength to get through this but I feel like you can do it guys I feel like you're putting yourself down too much and possibly as this reading as a whole Virgos do tend to put themselves down quite a lot which I can relate to because my sentence in Virgo very sensitive people so um I feel like you guys are really kind of integrating the taking care of yourself and also putting in the action so it's almost like knowing when to do each part so knowing when to relax and to kind of calm down and kind of take your own time away putting yourself away from people and kind of put getting your own space and it's also kind of knowing when to take action because I feel like you guys have the strength to do this because you're entering a new cycle so it can be a little bit nerve-wracking but I feel like you guys can do it um, for some reason they're making me look at the scarab beetle again. I feel like people are kind of scared of the scarab beetle because I don't know if you guys have seen a scarab beetle fly but when they fly they fly they sometimes fly at you because they're so big and they like have these wings and they're flying around so if, this, if that's the beetle that I'm thinking of I feel like you guys can actually get scared of moving forward and taking any action because you're scared of what the outcome would be so I feel like there's generally a message in there for you so I also heard from um, when I was reading one of my books from the oracle cards is that when you see an animal and you get scared by it it can actually mean a certain thing it can actually trigger something in you where it's kind of it means a certain thing so if you feel kind of nervous looking at either of these cards it can mean a certain thing maybe you're scared to take time out or you're scared to move forward okay um or just scared to take action in some sort of form which is completely fine guys <clears throat> everyone's working at their own pace okay so i really hope this resonated with you if it didn't then just let it fly if it did please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below i'd love to hear from you if you'd like to subscribe to my channel the red button is down below and also i do private readings so if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below in the description box i have all my readings listed and you can message me on email or instagram so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye hi group number four thank you so much for clicking on this video and for watching so i have a, i've Put the cards out already i spread the cards out so if you'd like to choose one of these specific cards here um if not then that's completely fine you can just have the reading as a whole but if you'd like a specific message then please choose one of these cards now and then we'll just get started so starting with this card here we have horse spirit freedom is yours three three hummingbird spirit be here now three four beaver spirit lay a solid foundation number six and then we also have peacock spirit let it shine at 46 so there's a lot of connection we have 33 34 and then we have two sixes here with a completion of 10 so you guys are really kind of going for it with this reading so we have the nine of cups the sun take time to breathe out and your answers you need the answers you need are coming so um, you guys could have chosen any of these uh, spirits because these are your favourite animals or it could be that they have a specific message for you and you could be seeing these in your life right now. It doesn't have to be the exact animal, it can just be like um, a picture of them or it can be like a photograph, it doesn't actually have to be like the real life animal, it could even be on like TV or YouTube. Okay, so for this card I feel like you guys are restricting yourself 
but I do also feel like for some of you, you could be very content. I feel like this group feels really nice. I feel like you guys have your shit together. <laughs> you may not feel like it, but I feel like you do. I feel like you guys are taking the time out to breathe out and kind of let yourself go, okay? For you guys who picked the hummingbird spirit, I feel like you guys are very, very busy. You're kind of like, like this, you're everywhere. You're like, blah, blah, blah. so I feel like you guys need to take that time out. I feel like horse spirit, you guys may not know that you have the freedom, but you actually do. With this, with this hummingbird spirit, very, very similar. I feel like you guys know that you have, that don't know that you have enough freedom. I feel like you guys are probably buzzing around, kind of like, I don't know what to do, I have too many options. But be here now in this moment and take time to breathe out, relax, take a deep breath, meditate, do some yoga, just or have a relaxing bath, listen to some nice music, etc, etc. So for the beaver spirit, we have lower, lower solid foundation and the answers you need are coming. I feel like you guys are going to get a job offer or even an engagement. I feel like a solid foundation in a relationship is coming for you. There's going to be like, there's going to be communication, I feel like, in terms of this situation so it can be to do i'm seeing like money and career or an advancement in your love life so it could be like an engagement it could be a layer solid foundation two of you coming together in a relationship which is beautiful i love that it's so cute um and i feel like beavers are very kind of like snuggly animals for some reason i feel like they're very homely they're very family orientated obviously every every animal is but i feel like for the beaver i feel like they kind of cuddle together to kind of make their dams and stuff so uh, and stuff <laughs> so i feel like you guys are going to lay a solid foundation if you chose this group uh this card sorry if you chose this card we have peacock spirit let it shine you guys have full-on potential to let it shine you guys could be leos or you could just be tapping into this leo energy that we have with them with the uh, planets right now and uh, with a lot of planets in the star, star sign of leo and i feel like you guys are just generally letting it shine i feel like you guys are really kind of opening yourself up to new opportunities and i feel like you guys are very open I feel like you guys are like having conversations with people you wouldn't normally have conversations with, or possibly you're starting online dating. Um, possibly you're just kind of being more confident with yourself and letting yourself know that you are friggin' amazing and you want to be more authentic and just letting yourself get out there, letting yourself be seen, I feel like, for you guys. So as an overall group, group number four, if you don't if you didn't choose just one group, if you chose all of them, I feel like obviously for all of the messages that I said, if any of those are accurate for you, then obviously this message is for you. If not, as our overall message, I feel like you guys need to make sure you're laying a solid foundation for yourself and to relax and to know that it's okay. Things are going to be moving forward and freedom is yours. You have the freedom to do what you choose. You may feel restricted and that's okay. That's normal. It's called being human, uh, which is annoying, but here we are. <laughs> and I just feel like you guys have full on potential to go for what you really, really want um, and just choose. Decide what, what feels good to you. And let, let yourself do that. Give yourself the opportunity to choose what you feel is the right decision for you, okay? So, I really hope this resonated with you guys. The answers you need are coming, so just letting you know that right now. And yeah, just relax. It's going to be okay, guys. Um, so I hope this resonated with you. If it did, give it a big old thumbs up. Comment down below if it did. I would love to hear from you. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, feel free to click that red button down below. Um, if it didn't resonate, then just let it fly or choose another group. Also, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. I have all my readings listed of all the options that I do. If you'd like to get in touch with me to book a private reading or just get in touch with me through email or Instagram messages, you can feel free to do that. You can also follow me on Instagram if you'd like to. My Instagram is at the crystal girl underscore. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys.